RCMP say a Beaumont man risked frostbite and serious injury after chasing down his stolen car last week in his socks. The suspected car thief is facing an assault charge, and the victim is telling CTV News how it all happened. David Awasik reports. RCMP say a car thief saw an opportunity last Thursday. And as it was being driven away, the owner gave chase. It all began outside a Beaumont home just before 8.30 a.m., and it was this man's car. I didn't even have time to take, uh, to take shoes. <laughs> he flew out the door in sub-zero temperatures, no coat, no footwear, and still caught up to it. Uh, when he looked outside, the vehicle was actually driving away, uh, and in his own socks, um, he chased down the vehicle. When he did catch up to his gray Toyota Corolla, it was sitting in traffic behind a stop sign. He says a woman was behind the wheel and that he shouted at her. I, I drive to the, to the window. I say, I say, this is my car. Why are you stealing my car? He's not giving his full name because of what happened next. Cell phone video from witnesses captured much of it. The car owner named Celestin stopped the woman from leaving. After she exited the passenger side of the Toyota, a witness tells us the woman asked other drivers to give her a ride, then tried to flee across Beaumont's busiest road. When that didn't work, the car owner held her from leaving and was struck more than once. My understanding is despite getting attacked uh, by this uh, subject, uh, he, d he didn't uh, fight back. Um, he didn't assault her. Um, and he used as much force as reasonable in this situation to detain her and wait for police to arrive. Celestin says he won't be leaving the car to run again unlocked, and because of his injuries, he won't be going to work soon either. Because I had the pen here on the chest, and uh, the legs uh, was like frozen. <laughs> RCMP have charged a 24-year-old woman, Kayla Charbonneau Holden, with assault and theft of a vehicle. She has been remanded in custody until her March 7th court appearance. David Awasik, CTV News, Edmonton.